Capricorn, how's it going? Welcome to your sexual magic deep dive reading for the month of July. Yes, July is here. I can't believe it either. All right, so we're going to dive in and we're going to see who's coming towards you or we're just going to check out who you're dealing with. We're going to find out how they feel about you um, and their sexual desire towards you okay um we're gonna start off by seeing who you're dealing with their personality traits their sexuality um and take it from there okay guys don't forget to like subscribe comment down below if you're new here um all the information you could ever need regarding this channel is in the description box down below okay so let's dive in and see who's coming towards you or who you are currently dealing with okay for Capricorn. Spirit, please show me who Capricorn is dealing with. All right. Who is coming towards Capricorn? Okay. Yes. Yes. One more card, please, for Capricorn. Okay, so we got a couple cards here. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Wands, all right? Whoever you're dealing with, okay, a lot of people are interested in this person. This person is popular. This person is good looking. This person is, people just kind of gravitate towards this person's energy here. You could be dealing with a Leo, not necessarily so, but let's dive in and see what's what. So we've got Scorpio energy here with the Seven of Cups. We've got Sagittarius here with that Eight of Wands. We've got the sun card, okay, Leo energy, okay, we've got the nine of wands, sorry, the nine of swords, Gemini energy, we do have the nine of wands as well, okay, and we've got, which is Sagittarius, and then we've got um, Taurus energy with the six of pentacles, okay, whoa, this person, this person, wow. All right, whoever you're dealing with, sexually, they are a pleaser, okay? I feel like this person is very intellectually inclined here, okay? I feel like this person tends to overthink situations, but I I don't think it's overthinking in a negative sense. Like, I really feel like this person is more imaginative, imaginative than anything. Um, I feel like sexually, this person's very fluid. This person is very creative, likes to try new things. Um, if they don't, like let's say it's something they've never tried before, I feel like this is the type of person that would research it, find the safest way to perform a sexual act um, that they've never done and really take the time to plan out and imagine the way the scenario would go, okay? They plan out their approach, they plan out each and every move. Like I said, I feel like this person's very much in their head um, in, in regards to sex. Okay. Um, I also feel like this person, like I said, I feel like a lot of people are attracted to this person. <laughs> Look at this. We have the Knight of cups underneath that six of wands. I feel like this person is a romantic. Um, this person is a romantic for sure, but I feel like this person's very sought off sought after. I feel like they have really good energy, especially with the sun and the eight of wands. Okay. This is a very passionate person. Light eyes, light hair is what I'm picking up, okay? It could be dark hair, dark eyes as well. We do have the Seven of Cups here. But this is someone who is very passionate, okay? Very strong communicator, very magnetically attractive. Um, I feel like this person's very sexy, like very soft features, very good looking. Um, like I'm just picking up somebody who's incredibly confident and incredibly passionate here, okay? Um, the Nine of Wands in traditional tarot also signifies perseverance. So again, like I'm picking up an individual who is just a fucking go-getter, all right? Um, if they don't know their way around something, they figure it out, okay? This person's imagination is very wild, all right? I feel like it's almost uncontrollable here with this Nine of Swords. I feel like this person really overthinks every scenario, but that's what kind of makes them a big dreamer. You know, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't, I'm not getting like an anxious energy off of them. I'm more so getting like this energy of a strong imagination. Okay. Then we have the six of pentacles, big dick, sugar daddy, sugar mama, take it how it resonates. 
energy, okay? This is the person who wants to give to you, all right? If you're just hopping in the bed and you're getting things started, this person's already going down on you because they want to please you, okay? This is my we aim to please sugar daddy, sugar mama energy. This person could have money and likes to spend it. If they don't have money, they definitely got time for your ass, okay? And if they don't got time for your ass, they definitely have the intentions of pleasing you when you do get a slice of their time, okay? Um, this person does not skimp on the whipped cream, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, this person, <laughs> this person really wants to give you what you want here, okay? Because pleasing you pleases them, all right? This person may be really into dirty talk. Communication is at the forefront for this person. I feel like they have no problem communicating what it is they want and how it is that they want it, all right? This person likes to be victorious in their sexual pursuits, all right? They wanna see you come, they wanna see you smile, they wanna see you have a good time, and they're gonna put in the work to make sure that you do, okay? Um, this is a very sexy energy, okay? Um, I feel like this person is attractive to people that there is a magnetic energy um, between the two of you. So, for example, you could be good looking, but if they don't feel that energetic pull towards you, it's you're probably not gonna be someone that they pursue because um, looks aren't everything to this person. Chemistry is very important is what I'm picking up as well. Okay. Um, yeah, strong Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be, but strong Sagittarius and Leo. And then again, we have Gemini, Scorpio, and Taurus. Okay. Um, I'm picking up an energy of this person could be in sales. Okay. That's not for everyone. I'm picking up a nice physique as well. The sun usually gives me that energy. Um, this person could be fluid, um, sexually fluid, okay? So it's not for everybody, but this person could be bisexual. This could be, um, or somebody who's just sexually explorative. They don't have to be bisexual, but like in the bedroom, they're not vanilla. Okay, let's just put it that way. This person is into trying new positions, new toys, um, you know, bondage, things like that. Like that's not for everyone either, but like this person, the point is, is that this person is willing to try new things in the bedroom is what I'm seeing here as well. And like, again, I feel like there's this tinge of romance here with this individual. Like, I feel like, I feel like this person, like, I feel a very sweet energy again, cause we have the sun too. Like, I just feel like this person is this person, like, like is a giver, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this person is sweet. Like, they, they genuinely just want to see um, that you're satisfied, okay, in, in all aspects here. All right, so let's, let's dive in, Kat, and we're going to see how this person's feeling about you. Okay, I'm not ready yet, but yeah, we're going to see how this person's feeling about you. Let me knock on these cards, and then we're going to get... Spirit, please show me how this person is feeling towards Capricorn in the month of July. Please show me clearly, Spirit, how this person is feeling about Capricorn. Oh. Two more, please. Okay, wow. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we've got the temperance, okay? You guys might be complete opposites, all right? But you know what they say, opposites attract here, all right? But there's a sense of needing to have some patience or getting the right atmosphere for the two of you to come together here is what I'm getting. Um, but there's a desire here. Like, <laughs> I always... I always find that temperance for me signifies a magnetic attraction as well because, again, it's like that balance, all right? Um, I always feel like temperance should be Libra energy, but that's just me. It's Aquarius, I believe. Um, look at this. So we've got the, the Five of Wands, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, we've got the Ace of Cups, and then we have the Hangman. So I feel like... 
This person definitely sees you as long-term potential. If you're dealing with a Libra, watch the Libra reading because they have the Ten of Pentacles in their desire for their person too. Um, but the Ten of Pentacles, like they see you as a long-term prospect here. They see you as a stable individual. They see you as wifey, hubby material. Take that how it resonates. Um, but this person, like, look, yeah, that's my boo, okay? <laughs> that's my boo. Um, the hangman. I feel like this person, I feel like this person is holding back their emotions. I feel like this person has a lot of emotions for you, but I feel like they could be holding them back towards you or it could be vice versa. They could feel like you're holding back their emotions, okay? I'm going to clarify this five of wands before I get into it. And I actually want to clarify the hangman as well. So bear with me here. And we're just going to see. Show me the hangman. For Capricorn and their person's feelings towards them. <laughs> Look at this. We've got the hangman and the six of swords. I don't know if you could see. Sorry. The Six of Wands. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, this person's waiting to have a victory for you. If <laughs> I feel like this person's waiting to make you come here. Um, look at, okay, the other card that fell on the floor was the Chariot. Yeah, so this person is waiting. Bottom of the deck, the Death card. Okay, this person wants to transform this connection. I feel like you two have been in separation. Um, if this is someone that you're already working um, working with or someone that you're already involved with this person's waiting for a sexual victory with you waiting to um, get things moving again okay they're, they're, they're determined to have you they're determined to have this victory with you okay um but there's a sense of like needing to wait for it i don't know you guys could be in separation um for some of you for others of you maybe this person's just not ready to approach you if this is someone um if this is someone that uh, is coming towards you, this person's not quite ready to approach you, but they have definitely have their intentions set on on getting you here, getting you naked, <laughs> getting involved with you. They they have very clear intentions. Okay, let me clarify. And then you have the death. So again, so. I feel like this person wants to transform this connection. So if there's stagnancy, they want to move out of stagnancy and move into movement is what I'm feeling here. Um, sexual energy for the death card. I like, I love the death card in a sexual reading. Like, I feel like this is very transformative, fluid. This is deep, watery energy. This is Scorpio energy. Um, for me, this is probably one of the most sexual cards in the deck um, next to the devil. Um, there's a few other cards that I can't think of that I feel are like the most sexual, but definitely, yeah, the Empress is incredibly sexual, but the death card for me is like top two. I would say devil is top and then death is, is the next year. Okay. So I feel like this person is dead set on, on getting you here. Okay. So let's clarify this five of, of wands here. Here are the five of wands, please, for how this person is feeling about Capricorn. And then we're going to dive into their, look at this, three of wands. Yeah, it's like, it's a conflict. They're just like kind of waiting here. There's some kind of conflict. They could be trying to close out a chapter with somebody else. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with them. Anyways, the point is, is that they're very attracted to you. They're looking, they definitely want to, they definitely want to explore a possibility with you. I feel like this person is overflowing with emotion for you here. Let me just get this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck and look the death card again. Yeah, I feel like this person, they attach their emotions to their sexuality is what I feel here. I'm feeling like this person can't hold back their emotions anymore. They're really going to overflow here. Um, I feel like when this person comes at you, it's going to be full force with that wheel of fortune. 
for some of you who are already involved, you guys could be on pause for another reason as well, but this person's going to come back around and they're going to tell you that they miss you. Okay, especially with that Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to dive in a little deeper into their sexual energy towards you. This person definitely wants a victory with you. They're set on you. Their intentions are set on you. They're willing to fight for this connection is what I'm seeing here. They're willing to put in the work. They see longevity with you here. And I just don't think that they're going to be able to hold back their emotions for much longer. Look, we've got the strength card. This honestly looks like Libra. Um, the tower. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck. We've got the two of cups. I feel like if this is someone that you're already dealing with, this person is developing very real feelings for you. Sexually, you guys are just compatible. The chemistry is off the chain. We've got the strength card, okay? So a lot of lust here. This person may be into being kind of dominant with you. But I feel like the sexual chemistry between the two of you is very intense. I feel like energetically you guys match each other here, okay? Um... I'm picking up this energy where this person likes to watch you, okay? Could want to watch you masturbate, could want to watch you undress. Um, maybe they like it when you send them, you know, dirty videos of you playing with yourself or pictures. There's just this element of this person likes to watch um, you be sexual, okay? I feel like your sexuality really turns them on here, okay? Um... So we've got the tower, we've got the strength, the nine of wands. I feel like, so this is touching and caressing, okay? I feel like this person is very intimate, okay? They like those intimate moments, looking into each other's eyes, um, touching each other's bodies, cuddling, um, just having a connection that goes beyond just the sexual, okay? I feel like this person really admires you um, a lot, I'm picking up a dominant energy, especially with that tower energy. It feels to me like this person has a very intense sexual attraction towards you. I don't really feel like it's something that they can control. I feel like they try to control it, but it's just out of control. <laughs> they try to control it, but they can't. I feel like this person's very intense with you. I feel like this person may even be a little rough with you, but with the two of cups here... You like it. Don't lie. You like it. You like that roughness. Um, a little bit, a sprinkle, a dash. Um, because it's like, it's almost like you know this person is a caring individual, right? So you know that they're not intentionally trying to hurt you. They're just expressing themselves sexually is what I feel here. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull a moonology just because I did for Libra. And then I'm going to wrap this up. Don't forget to like, subscribe comments if you're interested in a personal reading that information is down below as well um but i feel like if there's a pause for this person coming towards you or maybe there's just a pause in the connection this person they definitely can't get you off of their mind here and they definitely want to come back around and fight for this connection they see longevity with you here with the ten of pentacles um the sex with you guys is just mind-blowing all right, um, is what I'm seeing here. Very intense. Seeing a lot of orgasms with that tower card, I'll tell you that. Um, all right, so let me get immunology. Luck is on your side. Yeah, I feel like some of you were in separations for sure. Let me get one more. Luck is on your side. I feel like, yeah. And then a new start is coming. Look at this shit, Cap. I feel like if you guys were in separation, this person is coming back around. It could be just distance. It doesn't have to be like a fight or anything. Um, but if it is like this person is coming back around, I feel like they just don't have this connection with anybody else. Um, this sexual energy. And I feel like if this person has developed emotions for you, they're like newfound emotions is what I'm seeing here, okay? So they want to transform this connection into something stable is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, yeah. 
let me know <laughs> in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you all the be best in your romantic future and love and light, you guys. Hit that like button. Love you. Bye. <laughs>